The Identity Software is an intuitive, easy-to-use software package which is designed to work as any other plate reader software that's on the market. The user first goes in and sets up a load list which allows the user to take a plate map view and define the well or wells that they would like to scan. The easiest way to scan all the wells would be to select, select all buttons and all wells would be selected. If the user does not want to select all the wells, we can clear those and we can either select wells by clicking and dragging with the mouse or we can take and, and click on individual wells that we would like to inter interrogate. And I'm going to set up a plate map that looks like this for a particular plate that I have in the system. And once a plate map has been defined, I can go in and type in sample names for individual samples if I wish and uh, put that into the this, this spreadsheet format. On the right we have our controls for running the setting this spectrometer acquisition mode which allows us to set this up and then save a plate map view which then would be set and usable by any technician uh, going forward. And then once the plate map view has been selected I can run it. Select run. I will select on show last spectrum displayed and click on run and we will now run the particular plate. The plate is being fed into the plate reader and once the plate is in position, the spectrometer will home the plate and then move to the first well position in the plate map. We know which well position will, which will be run because the colors on the wells will change color as we progress through the plate scan. The currently collected well will change from dark blue to green and now we're at the position where we're running the first well. Once that well has been collected, a spectrum for that well is displayed in the spectral display window. So we get a quick view of the spectrum as it's being collected. And then uh, once all of the wells have been collected, the system will then eject the plate and, allow, and display go into the display mode so we can display the data from all the wells which have been collected. So now we're at the position where we scan all five wells with only about one second per well. So it's a very fast plate scan to, to scan the entire plate in, the, in a one second per scan plate map view would take about five minutes. So within a very short period of time we can collect data on 96 different samples with the spectra all being stored individually linked to the particular well position. And once the plate has been ejected after the plate scan the software will automatically just jump to the display results page where we can review results from the last acquired well scan as we are here now. So if I want to display results from a well I can click on the well name. The results are displayed on the right and I can optimize some of the display parameters and we can see for the different positions we get different spectra because we have different chemicals in each well position and the chemicals will have different spectra because the Raman spectrum that's acquired as a vibrational spectrum is unique for each individual compound so the Raman spectrum can be used as a fingerprinting method for identifying unknown materials. Once I have selected a spectrum and I would like to do further work with it I can go down to this button on the bottom send current spectrum to third-party application and do further processing with it at that point.